Hi, welcome to Widow Strong. I'm Michelle Peremsky, and you've joined the podcast where we're just a group of girlfriends who happen to be widows <laughs> sharing strategies of health, hope, and healing. Thanks for joining us, and thank you, Katrina, Melissa, and Tiffany, for thank joining you. us. Thanks for having us. Thank we're you, thank so you. excited. <laughs> All right, so in session two, we were talking about um, strategies for organizing our home, and in this session, we're going to talk about self-care. But we were talking a little bit um, in between sessions, and you all were saying, go ahead, Tiffany, <laughs> Melissa, there were just uh, some extra little strategies that you were thinking of, right? No. Or, oh, no? What? <laughs> well, you were like, <laughs> no, you were saying, I was like blown away by this whole, the, 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 the schedule, the board, yeah. and this, I know. the visual aid yes. there. I was, you know, and I do that at my job, but, and it helps me so much with all the things right. I have to do at work. It's like, I should do this at home. Oh, and I'm yeah. looking at the, yeah, yeah I'm and it, looking at it and I'm like, this is wonderful. And it's building their skills. It's allowing yes. them That's to I'm take for. some mm -hmm. autonomy for their own lives as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. what you said that you observe the tension around your home. Yeah. Yes. What were you saying about that? Mm -hmm. I So in, in the evening or in the morning, I look around and I think, what is stressing me? What mm -hmm. is bothering me? Mm -hmm. And you know what? The floor is disgusting. Yeah. That is bothering me. <laughs> that is bothering me. Yeah. That would bother yeah. me. We, mm -hmm. we haven't eaten at the breakfast table in two days because we can't. Because we can't That's get bothering to me. It. It's yes. bothering me. Yes. <laughs> Or um, the wrappers everywhere. Really, I'm like, like, how can you yes. not put your wrappers away? Yes. What is that? We have what three people. Why, why are there eight cups in the living room? Yes. yes. Yeah. Why? why? And so are there people in the home you? we don't know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so then I look at, I pull up that, that sheet, that template that I made mm -hmm. and for each kid. And I say, you know what? Okay. Um, my boy, you are clearing, clean up the living room. Yes. I love Trash, that. fold, all these Everything. things. Everything. And they, they know what that, I've done some work with them in the, in the past behind the scenes, you know, like they know what clean up living room is. Mm -hmm. Like I have certain right. things I'm, what I'm asking for there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Daughter, you are vacuuming the floors mm -hmm. and we're good. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're good. And then they're doing the things and they're making the things go away that are stressing me out. And then if you control the screens, mm -hmm. then yeah. all the better. They're guaranteed to do Full it. Circle. I know. So now yeah. there's me time, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. So what do you do with that? Exactly. <laughs> what is your me time? There's me time. So now, what? what let, let's talk about that. What do we do for me time? What are some some restorative strategies that have been working for you, either this year or this mm. summer? Okay. Well, I'll, so my first year in in widowhood, it was I think I was had been widowed for maybe four months or so. And I felt angry. I had this anger and this mm. this, oh, yeah, this yes. energy, <laughs> yeah. but not a good. It just yeah. wanted to hit something, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And and so I joined my my local CrossFit yeah. box, uh -huh. and I lifted through mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. Wow! And I ran through it, and mm -hmm. I and it was amazing. And it it was a good almost a good year of that and it just i noticed my energy just shifted it changed yes mm -hmm. i no longer needed that yes mm -hmm. or wanted that and mm -hmm. i found i didn't have that energy and my workouts were taking my energy from me you know i just it, mm -hmm. i needed something different and so it it's yeah. shifted as far as how i'm moving and what i'm doing to for exercise Mm -hmm. Yes, a, a, a bit of a loss at the moment, but I'm, gonna work, I'm working on that. Yes. I'm, I'm aware of it, and I'm working on that. Yeah. Sun's coming back around. I agree. But. Yeah. I definitely. I, I think we have that in common. I when whenever I'm angry or really stressed, I need something very physical to do. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's running. I will definitely go running, and mm. sometimes I will run a lot longer than I thought I would because something about me and anxiety or stress. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need a physical outlet for it. Yeah, yeah. And so for me, it's been running. Running serves me well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, it's getting on the bike, too. I like spin mm -hmm. class. I've, I've done a couple soul cycle classes, too. Yes. I love soul cycle. It'll, it, it gets me going. That music yes. It is. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the sweat sometimes can hide your tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you're sad yes. and you're like, you can cry, no one will know. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I think for me, it's it's sort of the same mm -hmm. when I, 
being physical and I tend to feel a lot better when yes. I exert myself and my brain seems to work a lot better. But also, I mean, just pampering myself. Yes. I love to travel, but yes. you know, a lot of, I, I have to plan. My kids love to travel too. Mm -hmm. So when I travel, they're right there. They're like, where are we going? Where are we and going? Then, <laughs> then, it, then the trip becomes all about my kids. Mm -hmm. And so what I learned to do is, mm -hmm. you know, to plan two trips. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, I do a really nice vacation for my kids mm -hmm. and myself for the family, and then I do something for just me mm -hmm. that's just adults, you yeah. know. <laughs> you know yeah. whether, it's a, whether it's a girlfriend's trip yeah. or you know me and my mom or somebody, mm -hmm. you know, it's and I tell you, it's it does. it's a wonderful thing. And I'm like now I'm in in the stages of about to you know to plan something, you know, because I did. The thing with my family, <laughs> which was all about them. Yes. So now I'm going to do something that's all about me. Yes. Nice. That and that's brilliant. brilliant. I know yeah. it is. Those vacations are so helpful. Yeah. Yes. And then you do, you come back so refreshed, too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, sometimes you do. You have to get away. And I think that's another thing that it, you were the one, actually, who really taught me that because we both love traveling. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you got to get away sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you do. You really do. It's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. It's true. I think um, one of the things that I've, I'm a producer by nature. Mm -hmm. I make, I like to make stuff happen. And so mm -hmm. I worked in the news. I used to work uh, as a producer for a period of time for network news. And, and when I get stressed out, man, I work. And I will just work. I'll make stuff think, from morning think, till night. You two have yeah. this in common. Yeah. <laughs> you two have this in common. And until I think you and I are looking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm that like, I'm gonna wrangle that in the ground. ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just exhausted because the finish line always moves forward. Oh, it or always you keep does. piling stuff on your plate. Exactly, because you can and cause most you know. of the time. And and I find this, about, I think this is about a lot of mothers. Because we are mm -hmm. so capable, we take on even more and more and more. Yes. And then if, if we accomplish something, then we're like, oh, there's a corner on my plate that's not filled. Let me add something exactly. else to my plate. And, you know, and mm -hmm. I think it's you know the ages of your children. So if yes. your children are younger, they require more well, of your, your time. attention. That's you know, true. so it's easier, you know, when you're dealing with a teenager or you know, or older child to to say, "Hey, uh, I need my time now." Right. You know, yes. I'm in, you know, and they'll go and do something on their own, and then you create you can create that mm -hmm. space. But when your children are smaller. Sometimes some of the tools that you have to use is multitasking. Maybe taking doing something you want to do, and then you know, hey, mm -hmm. you know, we're gonna, we're going to do this, uh -huh. right? Or like mm -hmm. going to the Y where they have childcare, so you can exercise. Yes. exercise. You know, yes. going yes. for a walk. You know, together, together. Yeah. together yeah. with putting them in a bike put them trailer, on a bicycle exactly. while you right. walk. So you exactly. you created that time, mm -hmm. for something, right. You know, for yourself, and you. Still have your child with you. Yes. you know? Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. we lived with the bike trailer for a couple of years. Yes, where we did. They could just, I'd bike us to places. I would get the exercise. Yep. They would come along. Yes. And if there was any fights in that tiny little bike trailer, <laughs> I just, I just tuned it out. Nothing was better. Eventually, they fall asleep. They'll be fine. Just put some snacks in there and take yeah, off. Keep going. Yes. So. You know what I have found now is having a quiet time. Yes. And I'm really, during this summer, I have started to schedule my time differently mm -hmm. in sprints. Yeah. So that I have time that's to myself. Yes. Quiet mm -hmm. time. Time to go take a walk or a hike. Mm -hmm. Just to calm down the noise. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come into work for a sprint. You know, maybe from 11 ah, to 2 or okay. 11 to 3. Yes. And then uh, during the summer, and then I come home and I'm with my girls or we've got stuff to do at home and then we yeah. we may do something fun and then we've got the rest of the mm -hmm. things that you have to do to get ready for bed. Right. But also another important thing, and you said this when you're mm -hmm. scheduling that quiet time, quiet. is sleep. And yeah. I'm huge. working with my, you know, I'm working with a nutritionist yes. because yep. I'm managing, learning how to manage my stress because like you, yes. I'm still like, you said you were, I'm like mm -hmm. constantly 
finding things at work. I'm filling the space, and it's just like cram packed. Right. So I'm mm-hmm. like, now I find myself. I'm like grinding my teeth, and I'm like stressing yes. out. Yes. So I'm like, I got to throttle back. So in talking to my nutritionist. Um, a couple of days ago, she was like, how are you sleeping? Mm-hmm. And she was like, and what are you doing before you go to sleep? Mm-hmm. Schedule that quiet that time before, before you, you go, go to sleep. sleep. Wow. You know, yes. that downtime for yourself. And then make sure that you're getting in bed and you're getting mm-hmm. enough, enough sleep, sleep each day because mm-hmm. that's right. when your body is repairing itself. Exactly. It's true. I, and I, talk, I talk to my students about this all the time. My college students, I've, I've, sleep, I've been on a sleep soapbox all mm-hmm. of the last yes. two semesters. Because what I find is that what they don't understand is a lot of the stressors that they're feeling, Mm -hmm. a lot of the anxieties and pressures that they're going through is because they're not maintaining a regular sleep schedule. And you need that. Even when you're young, I wish someone had said that to me when I was younger. that's (laughs) smart. Because we never talk about sleep. We Mm -hmm. always, you know, I grew up in the era where going to bed at a certain time and getting up at a certain time was, it was very prescribed. And you may not have gotten enough sleep or enough rest. And mm. you didn't want to be con- perceived as not doing your part. And so you were like, oh, I got to get up by a certain time, even if you were still tired. Mm-hmm. And we ignore all of those signs for so many years. And then we don't know what it's like to take it down and actually get yes. a restful night's sleep. Mm. And you know and how what? important oh. it is. I'm sorry. And that's okay. Oh. No. <laughs> but, um, well, it's... I've what I've read is every hour you get before midnight is like two hours of restorative health in your body. So creating that sleep schedule, I what I do is I have a quiet time in the morning. I read my Bible. Mm-hmm. I take some time with the Lord, and then in the evening it's to create that space to wind the down. family down. Mm-hmm. And that um, we get to bed by 10 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that Mm -hmm. we get a couple of hours before midnight. And that counts like four hours in your body. Mm -hmm. Now, you still want to get a solid, as an adult, seven to eight hours of sleep. And growing children may need 10 to 12. They need more sleep. Exactly. And especially during those periods between middle and high school or at the end of high school. Then the final growth spurt. Because that final growth spurt is happening. But then you have another period where the final brain development is happening, Mm. which goes up until about 23. Okay, that explains why I used to sleep so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I could sleep exactly. all day. <laughs> but it was it, it was, was a okay. part of it yeah, was it each was. time it was a growth spurt or it was a shift in hormones. Mm. And so it's very important to get enough mm. sleep because you're right, the body needs to repair itself. Mm. The hormones need to be metabolized. There's so many things that the brain has to, that it orchestrates while we're sleeping. Oh. And we forget about that. A lot yes. of times we don't even think I am very how important convicted right now. that is. You're <laughs> so <laughs> guilty. I'm so guilty of not getting sleep enough sleep. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. I've gotten into a bad habit with, with my grief of watching TV to distract myself from the yes. evening when it's still, when everything's still and it's calm, <laughs> yes. I will distract myself. Yeah. And until I'm tired. Mm-hmm. And if that happens at 9, I'll go to bed at 9. If it happens at midnight, I'll go to bed at midnight. Got it. You know what's funny? Ugh. Is that's Ugh. my nutritionist and I talked about that too. And I said, you know, that that screen time, whether it's on your device or the mm-hmm. television, it is... It's not that downtime that it's you need. It's not downtime. So right. you have to minimize the amount of times you spend on your device mm-hmm. or yes. you spend on watching the TV. because So your mind... Can cycle down. Yes. The, the, journal of America, that. Uh, the Journal of American Medicine put out a study just in the, recent, in the last week oh. saying that if you do um, have bright lights distracting you before you go to sleep. So that screens, your television yeah. your or those devices. blue light bulbs. They said oh, that yeah. it also leads to weight gain as, as we it's get true. older. It's true. That explains oh. a lot. Mm. And so, <laughs> it, and I was like, now I know that we talk a lot about, you know, trying to stay healthy. Yeah. And, but we didn't realize that being distracted before going to sleep is also contributing. Yes. To mm-hmm. You know what we do at night in, um, in my house? I have blue lights mm-hmm. in my um, kind of canned lights in the ceiling. But we turn off, we call it the overheads. We turn off the overheads. Mm-hmm. And at night, we turn on the yellow mm-hmm. toned oh, lights yes. to calm nice. the brain down. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we, it's time for us to go. Okay. I love talking. I know we went a little bit long today. But 
We are just so excited that you joined us. If you would like to learn more or join our newsletter list, go to uh, widowstrong.com and click on that newsletter. And we'll be sure to send the file of Melissa's schedule um, mm -hmm. for her children. And believe me, I'm going to be using that now. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, be sure to visit, visit us at widowstrong.com. God bless. Bye-bye.